this is Gardening with Mel. And yes, another great video from Gardening with Mel with more tips and tricks for backyard gardening. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that way you don't miss out on another great video from Gardening with Mel. Stay tuned. Hello my fellow gardeners. This is Gardening with Mel. And yes, I'm here with another tip. If you guys are coffee drinkers, and I know a lot of you are, and you probably have your Brita filters or whatever you use to, uh, your K-cups um, that you use, and you figure, what do I do with those little cups? Well, inside of those little cups is coffee grounds. And we all know that coffee grounds are still good for the soil. It's actually some natural fertilizer that you can use to nourish your plants in the garden, like a lot of leafy green vegetables and things like that. It's very good for the soil and it also deters some pests. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to extract the coffee grounds out of your little K-cups. So we're going to recycle these and get all that used coffee grounds out and use this in the garden. Okay, so I'll show you how. We're going to turn this video around so that way you can see how. Hello my fellow gardeners, this is Gardening with Mel. And yes, I'm here with another tip. If you guys are coffee drinkers, and I know a lot of you are, and you probably have your Brita filters or whatever you use to, uh, your K-cups um, that you use, and you figure, what do I do with those little cups? Well, inside of those little cups is coffee grounds. And we all know that coffee grounds are still good for the soil. It's actually some natural fertilizer that you can use to nourish your plants in the garden, like a lot of leafy green vegetables and things like that. It's very good for the soil and it also deters some pests. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to extract the coffee grounds out of your little K-cups. So we're going to recycle these and get all that used coffee grounds out and use this in the garden. Okay, so I'll show you how. We're going to turn this video around so that way you can see how. Okay, my fellow gardeners, these are the K-cups that uh, I've been saving. Um, well, actually, I haven't been saving. My husband is a coffee drinker, so he saved these for me because inside of these little K-cups, you think, okay, I'm just going to throw this away, but you can actually extract the used coffee grounds uh, out of these and save them and use it in your garden. So I'm going to show you how I extract um, the used coffee grounds and we're going to repurpose um, these coffee grounds. So I'm just going to, I just use any sharp piece or pencil or pen or anything that you have that you can just kind of poke open the hole at the top and make it larger and peel off that little foil topping at the top. Okay, so we're going to open that up and try to take off as much of that as you can and get that out of the way. And then you're just going to take your K-cup and I have like a little bowl or a cup and we're just going to swish that around in there. You can see at the top there. And those little coffee grounds are just coming out. Now some people may save these and I don't know about saving these because it has the little lining in there and it might be a little difficult to get that out but if someone wants to take the time to take that out and maybe poke some little holes at the bottom these will be perfect little starter cups for some seedlings so it's just your choice of what you can do to kind of repurpose some things instead of throwing it away but I choose once I get the coffee grounds out to toss them but I'll show you once again how you open it up I'm just going to peel that aluminum foil topping off it's kind of a foil topping get off as much of that as you can kind of get it all out of the way and you're just going to take that coffee cup and just swirl those pencil around in there or whatever you have is sharp and just scrape that out of there and get those use coffee grounds out. Okay, so people probably think, why do you take so much time doing that? It's just feel that, you know, 
you want to do your own organic gardening and you want to add nutrients to your soil and used coffee grounds are perfect for having more greenery and more harvest because this is like nutrients for the soil so that's just an idea of how you can do that and what I do normally is like I have a plant here and I'm just going to add some coffee grounds to it to the soil just to add some nutrients into the soil now that we've harvested some of our used coffee grounds and just kind of break it up in the top of the soil and you just water as normal so there you have it so now you got some extra added nutrients that you've added to your pots to your plants um, and you can do that to whatever leafy plants that you have. Um, I have a pothos here. And you can add maybe some used coffee grounds to that, to the soil. Give it some, a little nutrients in there. So you can see. going to water as normal. Okay. Since I have these plants outside on my patio, I'm watering from the top, but if I was in this was an indoor plant, I would be watering from the bottom. Right now the water's draining out. It's okay, it's on my patio table, so this is perfectly fine, but you get the idea. So, if you're indoors, you want to water your plants from the bottom, you can if you want mix the coffee grounds in there maybe at the first time you put the coffee grounds you water from the top but then in future watering start watering from the bottom that reduces gnats from laying eggs on the top of your moist soil so that helps in that and then the plants will pull the nutrients up from the bottom this is where all the roots are so that's another tip also as well So there you have it, another great tip from Gardening with Mel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button so that way you don't miss out on another great video from Gardening with Mel. And may your garden be blessed.